Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at IDW's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, issue number three. In an alley, Casey Jones and Raphael beat down a purse snatcher until he surrenders his ill-gotten gain. Unfortunately, their attempt to return the purse to the old lady it was taken from doesn't turn out so well, as she runs off screaming at the sight of Raphael. Casey brushes it off and suggests they turn the purse in at the nearest police station, and on the way, Raphael asks Casey why he didn't stand up against his drunken dad if he's such a good fighter. Casey explains that when his mom died of cancer a year ago, she made him promise to take care of his good-for-nothing father and to not fight with him. Casey's been doing his best to keep that promise. Raphael then asks him about the hockey mask. Casey explains that when he graduated from high school, he got a hockey scholarship at New York Tech. Unfortunately, he's currently on academic probation, though he needs the scholarship to pay for rent and food since his dad doesn't work. Unbeknownst to either of them, some members of Old Hobbs' gang are spying on them. Down in the sewer lair, Leo, Donnie, and Mikey are busy sparring. As Splinter tutors them, Mike inquires just why Old Hob hasn't been laying into them so hard recently. Splinter tells them it is not their concern, as the past is the past. Fifteen months ago, after Splinter, the Turtles, and the Ooze were dropped into an alley by a ninja, a stray cat attempts to eat one of the Turtles. Splinter and the cat get into a fight, resulting in the cat getting its eye torn out. As soon as the cat retreats, the ninjas return for the bag they dropped. Splinter manages to pull the bag with the Ooze and three of the Turtles down a nearby storm drain, escaping the ninja. The next morning, when Splinter awakens, he discovers that he has mutated. Likewise, he finds the Turtles have as well. Back in the present, Leo, Donnie, and Mikey head to the surface to search for their missing brother, Raphael, yet again. Except tempers ignite as Donnie insists that they are never going to find him, and should instead focus their energies on taking the fight back to Old Hob. Leo refuses such an idea, as they must follow their sensei's command, insisting that they remain hopeful that they'll find Raphael. As a result of the disagreement, Leo and Donnie are about to go at it when Mikey breaks them up. Settling on a compromise, they agree to deal with Old Hob while searching for Raphael. While eating hot dogs, Casey and Raphael are bumped into a pair of hoodlums on the run from the cops. Giving chase, they're lured to a fenced-off dead end, where they discover it was all a setup. Casey and Raphael then find themselves cornered by Old Hob and his gang. Well, things are heating up and they're heating up pretty quick. We're already seeing disagreements amongst the turtles. Leo and Donnie almost getting into a full-on fistfight because they can't decide if they should be fighting Old Hob or searching for Raphael. Now, I really enjoyed this issue. It was a lot of fun. We got to explore the backstory between Splinter and Old Hob and how Raphael got separated. We even get to see the mutation of Splinter and the Ninja Turtles. And I like that this issue has given us a little bit of backstory around Casey Jones. His deceased mother, his drunk and abusive father, the fact that he's on a hockey scholarship currently on academic probation, it all helps give us a little bit of insight into his character, allowing us to better understand just the way he thinks and does the things that he does. Let me know in the comments if you guys enjoyed issue number three. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more. And stay tuned for my review and breakdown of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles issue number four. I'll see you guys next time.